Just one more comment about pictographs before I move on, which is that um, pictographs are so poor in my opinion. I'm not even going to show you how to graph them <laughs> with Excel. There's just look at the graphs that are pre-made for you by somebody else and I'm not going to show you how to do it because I think it's too awful for words. Now, let's move on to organizing qualitative data into tables. So when you look at data like this, that's data, right? You know, what colors were the M&M um, candies in a bag? So you open up the bag and you just grab the first one, it's green, the next one's yellow, the next one's yellow, the next one's blue, whatever. Right. And, I, and this is a metaphor, obviously. I mean, you get a random sample of people and the first one, I don't know, is from Switzerland and the next one's from Egypt and the next one's from Egypt and the next one's from, I don't know, Australia and the next one, right? And so you can do this with regular data. Um, not just colors, but the colors work because they, they show us how to do this. Now, what we could um, do is make a frequency distribution or we can make a relative frequency distribution. All right, so a distribution is just the fancy name for a table or um, it's really like how is the data organized and spread out. And you can see that with pictures and graphs and you can see it in a table. So when I say frequency distribution here, I want to list all the categories and the number of occurrences for each category. So for example, when you think about M&M colors, let me grab a picture, hold on. Holy mackerel, look at all the M&M color images. Man, there's a lot. Okay, let's say something like this. So you open up the M&M bag and then you look at the colors, right? Seems sensible enough, okay? So when you see this list in the notes, hold on gotta get back there. Okay, so when you see this list, all it's saying is the first one you pulled out was green and so on. Now what you want to do is you want to figure out how many of each of these there were. So the blue ones, how many of the brown ones and so on. So I'll do the blue ones with you and then I'm going to pause it and you pause me as well and figure out the rest on your own. So let's see, blue, there's this one, that's one, two, three, none in that column, four, five, six, None there, none there, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's ten blue ones. Okay? All right, now pause me and go count the rest yourself. Poof, they're all done. Okay, hopefully you got the same thing I got, right? Which is ten, twelve, seven, fourteen, nine, eight. If you didn't, or if I messed up, sorry, just do what I do. <laughs> okay, so now we want to find the relative frequency. Now up here it has the definition of what relative frequency is. Relative means it's in relation to the group, right? And frequency means frequency, so how often it occurred. So what you're saying, basically what we're asking for is the proportion or the percent. You know, on, in this bag, what proportion of the candies were blue? In this bag, what proportion of them were brown? And so on. So the way you do that is you first find the total. So let me go down here and find the total. And the total will be the sum of all of these. So you have to add up 10 plus 12 plus 7 plus 4. Now this brings me to a whole other discussion, um, which is it might be very wise to have Excel do this for us. So um, I have Excel down here and I could click that icon, but if you don't have Excel icon just sitting down there, you go down to the Start menu down here and type Excel. And it'll show up Excel. There it is. And I'm just going to copy. Actually, I'm going to copy this whole thing. So I highlight the whole thing and I copy. And then I go in here and I'm going to paste. Yay. All right. There we go. So now we can kind of see. All right. Now I'm going to make Excel find the sum for me because, you know, I'm lazy. You could also use a calculator. So the sum, you, you can see it over here on the home screen, it's just auto sum, or you can type equal sum of these guys. There you go. So there were 60 candies in this bag altogether. All right. So now how does that help us find the relative frequency? Well, the frequency of the first class will be 10 divided by 60, right? Now I can make Excel do that too. I could say equals, and 10 is in this cell right here, B2, so I can click B2 divided by 60. Enter. All right, now I'll be right back here meeting you with the next video because this is going to get tricky in a second.